Morning all, it's post bag. And the first one says, one pieces light. Let's see what one pieces light is. This is a box. Okay, it's a white box. And it is a light bulb. Now this may look like a retro filament light bulb from, I don't know, the 1930s or something, but actually it's extremely high tech. These yellow filaments are lines of LEDs with a phosphor coating, and each filament is driven by about 60 volts. Now I can see from the wiring of this that those four filaments are in series, so that should be 240 volts, and indeed this was build as a 240 volt LED filament light bulb. Now down in the bottom, I don't know whether you can see this, but there is actually a green PCB with some sort of surface mount device on it and a few other bits and pieces. So I think it's time to power this thing up. So here's my lamp holder. Now in the UK, we tend to use uh, 22 mil bayonet fixings for light bulbs. This is a typical light bulb. This is actually an old 150 watt incandescent, which you can no longer get. Uh, but I have for this light bulb uh, a B22 to an E27 or ES27 uh, adapter. So I'll put that in. And now let's screw in the bulb. Okay. And switch on. Oh yes, that's very nice. That definitely has a retro glow feel to it. Um, now, I don't really have anything to compare this with, so it's uh, difficult to get this across on camera. But that's got a very pretty light to it. It's quite white, uh, or is it yellow? I don't know, I have to remind myself what I bought now. So this is the item I bought. Uh, this was on eBay. It is a retro high power E27 uh, 4 watt warm white screw filament look LED light bulb lamp. Now that's Canadian dollars 9.99 which translates to £5.51. That was shipped free and that came from lead for you Now there are quite a lot of these bulbs on eBay that have that white plastic ring around them and I didn't really want that because I kind of thought well that doesn't look very retro does it with a white plastic ring so I wanted one of these where the glass and the metal um, connect directly and I think that was the one I bought uh, or maybe that one one of these two and uh, I've just spotted and this wasn't available when I ordered the light bulb but uh, well there was one seller selling it at quite a high price but now you can get four pieces of this one watt cob lead filament for £1.59 uh, free postage. Now what are you actually buying here because further down the listing it shows bulbs but you're not going to get four bulbs for one fifty nine. so it must be the individual filaments so I think uh, I'm going to have to put that in my uh, in my purchase list. Now these things require 50 to 60 volts DC at 15 milliamps so that could be quite a challenge to find uh, a power supply that can drive that but uh, that'll be fun trying. Okay so next we have two packages labelled electronic parts uh, three dollars a piece I'll probably open these together because I think these are going to be reruns of things we've seen before but possibly at a new price Okay, there's that one. Let's have a look inside here. Oh, cut right across it. Never mind. Okay, let's open these up. So what we have here are two items that relate to the wearable data display project. Uh, firstly, the charger board. There are five of them here, still all attached to each other. Um, this is the one with the TP4056 and battery protection components DW01A, uh, DW01A or is it DW01 and 8205A 
Um, probably got those at a reasonable price, so I'll check those in a second. And the other thing is this 1.3 inch OLED. Now the names along the top are absolutely tiny. I'll get my uh, macro lens. Now on my original display, I was a little bit concerned about the fact that there's no reset line. There's VCC, ground, clock, mozzie, CS and DC. On this display, there is a reset on that uh, fifth pin. This one goes ground VCC, D0, D1, reset, DC and CS. So it's slightly different. Um, I will be able to reset this display when I press the Arduino's reset button up there. But it has since occurred to me that the I2C version of this display doesn't have a reset button or a reset line either. So maybe I'm um, getting concerned unnecessarily, but it would be quite interesting to try this other display. Now there's some interesting stuff on the back of this. Up in the top left hand corner it's got 1.3 uh, inch OLED version 2.0, 4 SPI, so that's 4 wire SPI R3. So we presume that you have to fit R3 for 4 wire SPI and that is fitted. I squared C you have to fit R1, R6, R7 and R8. Well R1 and R8 are not fitted. Now R6 and R7, I'm just wondering, they're 472s. I'm just wondering whether they're the I2C pull-up resistors and they, they have fitted those even though this is uh, configured for 4 wire SPI. So the TP4056 charger boards are described as uh, 5 volt micro USB 1 amp 18650 lithium battery charging board, $4.95 which equates to £3.05p, free postage from Alice 110-1983. And uh, of course, for that price, you get five pieces of that particular item. And the white 1.3 inch SPI 128x64 OLED, uh, that's quite expensive. $8.46, 5.22. Not sure if you can get that a bit cheaper. Uh, free postage, and that's also from Alice. Now, just a quick update on the wearable um, with its new 600 milliamp hour lithium cell. Uh, this thing seems to be giving about 12 hours running time and that is only running it down about 50%. I think last night it was um, something like 80%. It's now down to 32% and it's been going for about 12 hours. So in theory, that 600 milliamp hour cell, which does seem to be genuine, judging by the runtime, uh, should be able to do about 24 hours. Okay, one more. Now this one doesn't fit on my desk because it's quite big and it's described as an LED light. Now the item inside doesn't really fit on my desk either. This is a Light Angel stick-up LED light. Okay, let's come apart. Well, that's rather bigger than I thought it was going to be. In fact, that's pretty huge. Now I have a bit of a fascination for these uh, battery operated PIR sensor LED lights. You can see that I've got a little um, single AA cell one there. This one takes two AA cells, has eight LEDs. This one has come on, it's got four LEDs and takes two triple A's. But this one dwarfs them all. Um, it's a four AA cell type, so I'll put some cells in it in a moment. Now there's a switch on the back there which has a little rubber cover so this is obviously intended for outdoor as well as indoor use and you get a pack of screws and uh, roll plugs with it. And uh, here on the box it says uh, seven super bright LEDs indoor stroke outdoor so it's obviously intended for outdoor use I think that's where it's going to have to end up. Uh, four times ooh, AA alkaline batteries required. Of course I'll use rechargeables. Now what's good about the type that takes four AA cells, and this is another one where four AA cells are in there, is that you've just got a lot of energy in there. So it lasts a long time between uh, having to change the batteries or recharge them, which is why I liked the look of this. Again, four AA cells, it should last a lot of time before uh, having to change them. But it is big, isn't it? I mean, compare the two. Physically, this one is large. So this uh, big light angel has a sort of carcelated uh, uh, sort of clamp thing there so that you can fix it in several different angles 
angular positions and uh, also has a rotating base so that you can change the angle that it points in when it's attached to the wall. Okay, this item came from Banggood. Uh, it's the Light Angel LED motion activated sensor stick up night light. It's 47% off at the moment, £4.62, free shipping to the UK. And that's today's post bag.